In Roosevelt Park in Hamden are saying enough is enough. Too often they see drugs being used in an area where children are playing. WMER 2 News Ashley McDowell spoke with some of those concerned people who live in the area and fear for their safety. And it is a story you'll only see on WMER 2 News. If you take a look around Roosevelt Park, you'll see a nice pool, playground, skate park, and lots of open land. But people who live near the park say the public space is getting destroyed. The trash is all over, there's human feces, um, a lot of uh, urination and bottles that are thrown everywhere. And it's just, just a general unhealthy vibe in there, it's, and it's scary. People don't want to be in there by themselves walking with or without their dogs. Their proof of hey, public drug everybody. use is Needle evident caps. on the park's Needle grass caps. near the pool. More needle caps, more needle caps. There's the pool right there. And while park rules say no one is allowed after dark, Quinlan says some people have chosen to make this their home. Over the last three weeks, we've gone from one individual living in the park to about four or five individual encampments. He says when he's voiced concerns of the homeless in the park to city officials before, they told him they cannot force those living on the streets to leave. Lois Joyce's, who owns a home and business in walking distance of the park, says it's bringing a new level of fear. We've actually been vandalized um, quite a bit. We found shell casings on our roof when we did the roof in the spring. There were three different shell casings from gunfire up the street. A place that is supposed to be a safe haven for children. But Joyce's says she fears mostly for their safety. For all the neighborhood children as a place for them to come. And they have to wait in line to get in the pool because there's so many. And they're waiting in the refuse and they're waiting in these needles. Quinlan reached out multiple times to city officials for help. Councilman James Torrance, who represents this district, says Baltimore City Recreation and Parks have removed needles and human waste from the park. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.